We're live. Oh. All right, yeah. Welcome everyone uh, to day two. I guess it's day two of uh, the yeah, Slam and Cup. Yeah, it's day two. Yeah, uh, we've got two great matches for you. Uh, first up right now is going to be What If uh, versus Spray and Pray. Uh, we call them What If. You'll see uh, it's going to break. We saw them yesterday, but uh, it does in fact break the UI. Um, I don't know what the actual full title of the the name is of the the team is um, because oh, it, it even will, in it the be, it, it's a mystery <laughs> to everyone. It, nobody will know. Nobody nobody can find out. Yeah, no, like even in the the tournament like uh, uh, schedule, it's just sort of in the middle of there. Yeah, you could see it up on the top there. Something yeah, about there Drake UI, and they did, they did it. do a good job of that. They, um, they 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 accomplished their goals, and let's see if they can accomplish their goals today. As far as winning, winning goes, is that good? Is that good? Yeah, winning this one too. Is that that's anything? <laughs> that that's something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Hoping for yeah. some some great games today. Uh, yeah. We got yeah. three casters so, today for people yeah. like that. Do we should introduce ourselves? That's something yeah. casters do, I think. I'm Fish. <laughs> I'm Pep Boy. And I I'm I'm MRM. That's uh you, you the, the that's all of us, I think. I'll, I'll also um, <laughs> that's, the, the, yep. all, that's all three. Mino, Mino is here the, too. The, um, yeah. Mino is is also here, but they're they're uh, they're 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 staying quiet. They're 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 they're, they're a person of few words. Yes. Let's see. On Team Spray and Pray, we have Pax running Arrow RG for their main. We have Venting running Splattershot Jr. We have Ash running Splushomatic and Aviva Kitty running Flingza Roller. Um, as you as you can as you can tell, as you might have guessed from their from their team name, they're a very <laughs> heavy heavy comp. Very spray and pray um, heavy, yeah. Uh, it, it, I. As as a as a member of the Hell Duelies, I can I can I can have a I, I'll give it I'll give trying to justify Flingza a try. Um, <laughs> they 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 uh, it's a it shoots out a spray of ink. <laughs> yes, yeah. we do have we do it have does. a lot of uh, Hell Duelies uh, representation today. It's a and up against them are uh, wait hmm. I don't think, I don't think they posted their, uh, I don't think they posted their team comp to the finding a team channel in, in the, uh, so, 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 uh, the, the team comp of what, of team what if is a total got... mystery to me. It's a, yeah. it'll be a surprise. Well, love to see it. I do have what if's full name currently. It's what if our team name was so long we break the UI, huh? Can we do that? And the answer is yes. They can, yes, they can really. in fact can. do that. Yes, we saw them play yesterday. They uh, it was what three? They lost one to three versus three Frascals, I think, or was it two three? I think it was one three, right? Uh, some some great matches, uh, concluding in a, a very very fun match, sixty seven to sixty one on uh, Clan Blitz, in Saltwater Springs. Looks like uh, we're starting to get the the players in here now. Yeah. So the format of it, it's a best of five. So the first team to three wins will take the series. Yep. And uh, a bit bit of unstandard or non-standard, I should say, uh, map picking. Uh, uh, first round is, I think, pretty ex exclusively ra uh, random. And then after that, we spin some fun wheels to determine the the map choice that the, the losers have between, and then they can choose the, uh, uh, the, the map mode. Looks like we've got everybody in, which is nice. We don't need to worry about any subs or anything. And it looks like we're readying up. What will... It'll be interesting to see what they're... It will be interesting to see what weapons they'll be bringing in. Um, it'll be interesting to see mm -hmm. what what uh, what maps it will be um, on account of... Uh, what, what map mode? But what map mode? But mode, map mode? It'll be. Yep. Surprise uh, to even us. <laughs> it could be. It is mince meat metalworks rainmaker. Um, I know that strings is a backline player. 
running Hydra, yeah. so this might be a rough match for Team Spray and Look Prey. Look at all those Prey shooters. Yes. They do not have any any long range weapons. Uh, they may be able to use Flingza's yes. Tenta missiles as a displacement. Um, it looks like a Viva went follow with Rigley's high roller. Yes. Yeah. Also, not good oh, for fine. Team Spray and Prey is the fact that uh, the Rainmaker starts out on a crate, so they're. Um, Yes. They will have pop. Brain, they will get, get pop very easily. But won't matter too much on oh, Mitsu. Yeah, this is very it's me very difficult to try to get um, if you're trying to go that top great side. So it looks like yes. what if is going on the left side right there. They do in fact get the checkpoint. You can see uh, just one of the big advantages that Team Spray and Prey is going to have in the pages <laughs> here. Um, even though they were outnumbered, I think two to three, something like that. Uh, they got they yeah, they popped mm -hmm. the shield bubble. Um, they just have so much more ink, so much more uh, damage per second that they will have a that they'll have a good shot of getting pop every time. Uh, it will be as for pushing too much further past that. Well, we'll see. Yeah, this will be an interesting thing in terms of special use, especially because we have these. Uh, you know, the frame prey does have a lot of, um, as the name would suggest, <laughs> spray weapons. So they, they are very good at charging special. Um, maybe not so good at. Um, oh, we looks like they're resetting. Grand prey. Oh, reset it. We love to see that. The side of the stage. Move. Yep. Um, it does look Smart like. Move. What if was able Back to recover? Looks like they've got the four to two lead, so they're going to be grabbing. That's, uh, that, really that's uh, you know, one of the big advantages for them having a a backliner is that it's yes. going to be a lot easier for them to get back into the action, uh, provided that strings can stay safe. And, yeah, but it looks like uh, once again, it's hard to get into strings currently with the team clock. Yep, and, give, exactly and especially the map. Um, Ooh, a yeah, double clip for strings there. Yeah, it looks like a wipeout. For a yeah, wipeout, this is going to be a very strong push. push. This is a this is a map that rewards um, teams that have a lot of long. Range oh, looks like a triple kill. Yeah, triple kill for Ash. Nicely done, nicely done. Those Counter wipe. A wipeout for. They'll have to be spray and prey. Will have to be careful to yeah. avoid staggering, especially considering that um, team that uh, team what if will be all together. Yes. After wiping. And they've snuck yep. back in there, dragging most of the team up in there. Oh, it does look like Strings has gone down, so this is going to be interesting to look at. They're going to keep trying to push for the offensive, yeah. or if they're going to wait a little bit. Looks like they're pushing. Ash was down, nice. Yeah. Got, got, got by the Rainmaker. Lum gets stuck in the purple yeah. flank. A little bit of an they're, aggressive uh, they, there. Get punished. They, yeah, yes. they're they're <laughs> one of the one of the main tactics, uh, one of the key uh, strategies, I guess, for Rainmaker is that you usually want to try and clear out in front of the Rainmaker before you make a push because Rainmaker yes. is so very slow, so very vulnerable that yeah. um, it's hard for it to uh, it's hard for it to fight for itself. Yeah, and you're exactly seeing that in this match where there's a lot of these pushes that are very aggressive that immediately get stuff. Um, I think especially on on uh, pushes towards towards like at spray and prey uh, by what if yes. because spray and prey's really got like the short range. So if you push up too aggressively, um, very easy to get immediately splatted. They okay, do get like checkpoint. It's a very good recovery from team spray and prey. And it looks like they've they, uh, maintained. Have Wipes, oh, no. unfortunately. Oh, that's, a wipe out oh, that's there. unfortunate. With less than a minute to go in the match, goes. we will. It will be. Uh, it, it might. We'll see whether they can. Um, they can. They can get that. They can get that. Uh, that turf back. Looks like Lum is just trying to play for some stalling right now, though. So yeah, we'll it's trying. It's a. It's a yes. good. It's a good move for them. They don't. They. Uh, they don't have to. Uh, they don't have to push any further to win. That said. Um, it's, uh, you don't want to push that you don't want to push too far back because if you uh, if you end up uh, oh, if you end like up a... pushing all the way back to your back to the back to the uh, back to the goal and looks then like somebody Artemis surprises you. By the then... way, getting a lot of those blank yes. kills when you're not looking at it. Um, mm -hmm. 
I'll go, I'll go it was like Lubb's having, Lubb's having some fun just, with it, just trying to run, run around right a little bit. Oh dear, this could be, this could be bad. This is, uh, yeah, looks like this is, the, well, no, we're going into overtime. Let's see um, although this is not a good position for team. Yeah, it's a pretty oh, bad one. They do save it though. Ash is pushing up. Straight for the oh, lead he's right pushing now. up too fast. Oh, unfortunate. You've really got to, yeah, you got to watch out for those. So especially that'll take us. You have to be very careful, especially in yeah. Open. That'll take us yes. to game uh, game one. Looks like what if takes takes that first game. Which means that uh, teams brand prey gets to gets their pick for for map and mode. Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll see what the uh, we'll see what the wheels. There they are. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Spin the wheel. An exciting game one though. That was closer than I. I was could ever have hoped yes. for. Yes, brain prey was able to ruins. make a pretty good comeback. Oh, okay. Yep. One of the new one of the new stages with uh, fresh season. Ah, uh, versus uh, Mac 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 Let's see Mac what they pick. Um, I myself, I'm probably going to Mac Mac, but that's just yeah. Mac Mac. <laughs> I, I love Mac Mac. It's a good stage. It's a good stage. It has, it's fun. It has walls that you can actually swim up, which is. And it, it has more than it's a, it's. Yeah, you have choices of where to go instead of everybody just like shooting at each other in the middle. What a concept! Oh, yes. What a concept! <laughs> so maybe flanks are good, guys. Yeah, maybe they, they should be on more maps. More I importantly, will say these are two though, more open maps. Yeah, which might, no, exactly. Yeah, which is gonna favor what if and their backline or strings. Mm -hmm. So it's I interesting might, to see yeah. what mode they'll pick. I think Mikamar would be my pick if you're spraying prey here. Um, yeah, there are lots you of have, there's, yeah. there's a lot more ways that you can swim lots around. Lots of corners, more yes. cover. Yeah, it's still very much open, but you do have some options. Um, more sharking opportunities as well. Looks yeah. like we're going for flat zone, Mako Mart. Okay. Uh, I can I can see that the uh, spray and prey obviously too, yeah. a lot, a lot, yep. a lot more in the way of ink. Yeah, no, I can I can definitely see the rationale behind the flat zones as especially because mm -hmm. you can take the uh, the zone quickly. The thing that I would be worried about is if we're going to see the uh, uh, the Hydra again, because that's going to really put down a lot of pressure on the zone. Oh, yeah. Hydra, it's... it's it, it, Yeah, it's a... One thing that a lot of... One thing that is not so... That is sort of counterintuitive about slap zones is that long-range weapons that don't paint as quickly can actually be valuable here because um, especially in maps where the zone is pretty large because the other side you, you, you can't paint one half of the zone and cap it you have to paint the other side yeah. somehow yeah no exactly you have to yeah, yeah. no yeah the backliner also is able to help keep the opponent out of the zone once you claim it and can it's in position to retreat and enable faster recovery if you ever lose it. So having that back line that can reach very far can be really helpful, even if it's a slower painter. <laughs> Looks like we're getting a, a, like a similar... It's almost comp. the same team comp there. Yes, it's the same team comp. Yes. Like. All right, we're getting the pushes so, in. I, I, I think... In here. One of what if swap swapped out swaps out for uh, Zap eighty nine with Super Chunk. Oh yeah. Oh that I could yeah I can see that being useful. It's good for good for. Looks like we already have here. a Super Chunk. We'll see it come come in. Looks like it's and not going to do too much though. Because <laughs> they already so have. That's it, a, yeah. That's one of the things yes. about Super Chunk. Yeah. It's it, it's a it's a, it's a kind of a weird place as far as like people trying to figure out what it does. Um, Oops, and it's yeah. looking increasingly it's like the answer is not all that much. So, yeah, so I well, say. I will say, it what if win. an RA job here keeping the keeping control? Oh, no, I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, nope, they still got they it. Got um, it. Oh, but, someone, but you can see that string has got picked in the back, I believe. Yeah, it looks which like may put an option too. in for Bray and Prey to cap zone, but it doesn't work. Yeah, I can't quite seem to. Oh, wait, no, we might see a, a cap. We might um, see a swap. Very close. I will say there's a, yeah, a lot of aggressive I mean, pushing. A lot very of, aggressive. Lot of, it. There the we sploosh. go. Yeah. It seems like they're struggling in the beginning with that they sort of got split up, and Ooh, now the they were able to do that bat. sort of yeah direct push here. And you uh, get immediately that team, way what if is now staggered 
and they're going to have to hang back for at least a little while or else uh, fighting at a numbers disadvantage. Looks like Lum is trying to push in, gets one pick. Prison going for a second. It's a second pick. Oh, it's and a trade. Not two, but we're going down. That's good. They, but they do not cap zone. They have not taken zone back yet. And Spray and Prey takes the lead. Uh, not Spray and Prey. That's what it takes the lead. <laughs> what it takes the lead. Sorry about that. Oh, God. oh wait, no, no, it is. It is. No, no, no. It was Spray and Prey. I'm wrong. Uh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It was Spray and Prey. Yes. Spray and Prey has yep. got taken back yep. the lead. Yes. Pink, pink, pink. <laughs> and they've taken control back too. Yep. The, uh, their their advantage in terms of uh, nice one, of the, one of the one of one of one of what if gets uh, jump camped by the air spray. Looks like they're taking it back. Oh, caught out the open air, but popping a booyah bomb to displace them for a little while. Oh, and gets a splat from that too. Oh, they got splat. Yeah, it looks like they're having a hard time pushing in there, but they're still burning through. Class with their uh, penalty time here, so we'll see if they can maintain it for a little bit longer. You can see uh, the roller player is once again trying to surprise strings on the on on stack. Um, since, since and it it, it works it works, it works again uh, it works again and they do take back zone although not with. Zone. Oh, excellent! Very well nicely done. Nicely, yeah. nice, yeah. nice sploosh play. Yeah. yeah Spray play is getting around the back really well here, in order to disrupt what it. Yeah, and that cooler isn't going to be doing. Oh, never mind. They're getting in again. I was going to say that cooler was a little bit out, but they push back. Yeah. Oh dear! Oh dear! They lose. They lose control just before they would have taken lead back. That is un unfortunate. 30 second, yeah, uh, 30, 30 tick penalty is is uh, considerable. On the kill there, yes. Yeah, we'll see if they can make a final push. Uh, time's starting to tick down a bit. Their uh, yeah, spray and gray is staggered. Coming in uh, one, 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 one squid at a time. It's yeah, they've really got a coordinated yeah, push. push. Looks like they got a couple people in oh, there, they, but yeah. push they've stalled again. it for now. We do get that bubble, but yeah, we've got. What if we'll um, take control again? Got some specials on both sides. It looks like yeah. What if is is keeping control there? I was gonna be able to get that. It looks like they're pretty too. solidly Ooh, locked out. Oh, oh! oh. Is, but they do lose control, and oh, we get the control they again. They have a they've they got a 50 tick penalty to work they through if they do. Yeah, we will not be seeing a wipeout there. Back. Yes. <laughs> Popping a bubble on the zone. Yeah. They'll need to hold it for about 30 more seconds. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it. <laughs> oh, they lost control there. Uh, uh, super some really Chump's good coming into so play. Keep it that's there. The, there. Yes. That's the that's the thing about Super Chump is that yeah. you uh, you have to pick which yeah. one to deal with. Yeah. Time is ticking down. Ticking they down. we are oh, no. we, unless they can pull off something so truly there. incredible. Oh, and they we do be a have knockout a, for Team Spray and nice. Prey. You love Spray to Prey see that. Takes it. What if just like couldn't couldn't quite bring it back? It looks like they staggered at the end there. Couldn't quite yeah. mount a repush. Yeah, that's, Spray uh, and that's Play. The... Yeah, go. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Spray and Play. Pray. Spray and Prey playing to their strengths there, being able to get behind, stagger the back lines, and then just hold. Hold it out and there. The bubbler use right at the front of the zone was really nice as well. Yeah, no, I agree. What a game. Um, and yeah, say that five times fast. Uh, spray and <laughs> I know. Spray and play. Play. It's play. A, it's a, <laughs> just, it's a, just a great tongue twister right there. Looks like we have uh, some oh, yeah. wheels. Um, Ooh, let's see what okay. we get. First is going to be yeah. Flounder Heights. Uh, that's a fun one. Okay. Not a, a fan not favorite great. Splatoon 1. Mm -hmm. And we have Mahi Mahi. Okay, so we're playing Flounder right. Heights. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you no, know, listen, if what I, if wants what to if... play Splat Zones, Mahi well, Mahi's I... not half bad. And if they want to play Tower and be mean, Mahi Mahi's the best choice. I was going mean, to say, looks... what I was going to say is they might want to go Mahi Mahi just because they do have the Hydra. And as Frame Prey stays with like, all these That's short range true. weapons, they could very easily control the map. Um, and uh, Flounder Heights, like especially. Heights especially, yeah. Flounder Heights especially is a 
is a map that does not favor backliners. There are not many good does not. For, for backliners. Uh, yeah, especially since you have to... neutral, neutral game. Exactly, exactly. Once you get the control, you can, you know, set up an outpost pretty well. But oh, it's oh very we are going to the Flounder build. Heights here. Do does look like we're going to Flounder Heights. Um, Looks like we're staying on zones unless the choice hasn't come in. Um, what if it's picking this time? Oh, no, nope, we're on zones. Looking like zones. So this is an interesting one, especially if they're, yeah, it's still running Hydra because, uh, you know, you've really got to control both sides of the of the, the tower mid. there, which yeah. means, yeah, mid. Um, <laughs> that's the name. Uh, the, the, the big old, big old heights on mid. Um, which is going to be, I think, hard to get a... Uh, a sort of backline hold on, but we'll see. We'll see how it how it plays out. Yeah, we might see some weapon switches too. You can see that strings and uh, whoever's on the bottom um, haven't popped in yet, so we might be seeing a gear chant. Yeah, no, we'll see. The strings, especially because um, they're the one with the the hydra, so we'll see if they they switch out or if they keep it the same. Looks like we've got a uh, mino hanging out in the bar a little bit. Grabbing some coffee yeah. before the match. <laughs> yeah, Platoon one day will give us a little co coffee shop. Yeah. A little coffee is a treat. A little coffee is a treat. Yep, so you so go. Let's see, uh, right, let's see the weapon selections. It'll be interesting. Oh, interesting. No, we have Bamboozler, though. Ooh. Yeah. Bamboozler That's bot. the same from the other team. And yeah, it looks like Spray and Prey is keeping the they, same. Uh, Spray and Prey yeah. does, does switch to, uh, they did switch. Oh no, wait, no, that's that's Sploosh still. <laughs> yeah, no, Spray is. No, Sploosh. Splash is, isn't really a spray, spray weapon. I, I will say, I do have to yeah. respect the, uh, the bamboozler Ooh, the here. The early pick there. Yeah, yeah early pick go. there. Yep. Um, especially because, yeah, you can Ooh. here on Flounder Heights, it works very well. Uh, so it's, a, it's a bold choice Nothing's for Flounder Heights there. zones to be fair. Oh, yeah. uh, Boozler is not the best at painting. Yes. Yeah. Um, Spray and play Probably. Will take the first lead. Yeah, it looks like they take it. We're back to neutral here. Yes. Looks like we've got uh, a little bit of a little bit of flank. Ice Slosher on the side of yeah. mid. Um, oh, it looks like managing to get some things out of it though. Flanks. Thanks around, uh, Spray and Prey is under a lot of pressure. Here's the Booyah. There's the Booyah. Oh, but it's not they enough to take the they do, yeah. they do outpaint it. They do outpaint the Booyah. It is... It is not the, the best... Is going around. Oh, but they do have... Oh, this is interesting, interesting. We do, they do get control because the they get that wipeout. Yeah. A little bit of a messy push, but you know, and it works. The lead. Yeah, the one of the nice things about this map is because it's so much harder because you have those, you know, two zones that you have to control. Looks like we're gonna get a lot more of a back and forth that you're going. Yes. Looks like another wipeout another though. Another wipeout though. It's like if uh, what if undertow, but not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we get a trade there. The there making it. A two to two here. Two. We'll see if that. Yeah, no. Looks like they're still maintaining it. Pax tries to go for a bit of a, a bit of a cheeky nice uh, flank yeah. there, but doesn't quite get there. Yeah, Spray and Play is able Gets to pause the timer for now, but they back the control and get counter is down to two. Yep. Oh, looks like we have a Kraken going here. on. Let's see if they can Switch do from Flinza to Kraken on Looks like it fell like, through the grate. They, uh, they, you, Kraken is swim form, so that's, uh... Yes, but they've paused the timer. Slosher once again going for the flank manages to I think I think manages to get a pick. Uh, yeah, they're back in control. control there. And they've lost control again. And they're back in control. Exciting gameplay. Oh, looks like we've Exciting got some gameplay. nice pick. Ooh, two down uh, there. Camping, t camping yeah. the jumps gets two yeah. of them. That is unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, it looks like they're. You can see they're the roller there bit. looks like the flank. Oh yeah, let's see uh, if they can make uh, anything without, of it. Without their teammates oh. yeah, to attract attention. They trade. Mm. Yeah. They do get a trade, but that doesn't uh, that doesn't uh, oh, change the game state out. much. And that's gonna be knockout. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Very, Relatively very well played. Game, I must say. Yeah. Very very, very well played by Team One. 
That'll make it 2-1 to what if. So if they win the next game, they take it. It is for I gotta say, though. Pick, though. I do, I do respect Bamboozler. I'd be interested to see the stats for this game in terms of uh, what the Bamboozler was doing in terms yes. of putting the work. We'll have to look at it after. All right, let's see where we're taking this next match. Exciting. Two to one. We're on a match point here. Museum First up is Museum. Museum to Alphonse, you know. It's a good one. And we've got Inkblot. Both very, oh, okay. very, very art, art focused, uh, yeah. art focused <laughs> map choice. Yeah. The eel wants us. The wheel wants us to respect the beautiful art forms the ink represents. <laughs> Yeah, well, and we'll see if Spray and Craig can make can 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 make some some art out of this next match. Am I right? <laughs> you either you either go for it's a it's a choice between the weird long legged statues of, of of Museum D or the weird mushroom things on it. So that's, that's the main thing that Spray and Craig will be thinking about. Which one do they like better? Mm -hmm. I will say, um, yes. Inkblot has a very, very commanding uh, sort of backline position there at the back of mid. Yes. Yeah, but we'll be going there. And I think we'll be staying on zones. Yeah, it looks like we're going Inkblot. So a lot of zones this match. It seems like both zones. teams are pretty, pretty happy to stay on zones. It is one of my favorite game modes, so I cannot blame them. It's very, we'll uh, it's very intense. Very. More uh, importantly, we, we very... haven't seen any any sort of jukebox action today. <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunately. One of us will have that to. That wasn't a. You don't have go. to. I was. Oh, there we go. Like we're gonna get some. Uh... If you're willing. Oh, I think to we know exactly what we're going for here. Oh boy. Oh, uh, not quite. Oh, they no. do not get it off in time. <laughs> <sighs> Spray and That's Prey will have to win in order to force. The final chance gets them. <laughs> Good tunes. Yeah. The squeezer's back. Some splash tunes, if you will. No, never mind. Oh, but um, Tisk. Yeah, we'll see the squeezer back here. No ends One up. One of Spray and it's the C Junior for Team Spray and Prey, piloted by Glum, uh, drops off to the left with the flank. Nice position. And they're in control. They are in control. Yeah. Yeah. They're coming up to try and contest their their plat. Uh, oh, gloves look. Oh, take, very they, nice. They take two one. down with them. It's two. They take down it's three. There we and go. They get out. Very well done. Team Spray Prey is staggered as well. And you can see the results of that. They go they, uh, they go down one by they go down one by one. Yeah. Another couple. Plum Baron. Absolutely, uh, whiling out here on the on on Team Spray and Prey's plat. Yes. Electing to stay up there instead of chasing, uh, chasing. They do get got by yeah. Roller on yeah. Team Spray and Prey. And Spray and Prey were able to cap the zone, putting a 50-second penalty. It was really very needed. good. Very good use of the ledge there. Yes. By Viva, yeah. That's what you're really looking for with, with the, uh, uh, the roller. Nice very, very, very strong roller play. Using, ma making yes. use of uh, ledges and corners uh, to uh, take, take people out by surprise. Third one there. Yeah, just patrolling the zone there. You've got to wonder if they have any plans to push up or if they're just content kind of hanging Another out. Another one. Zone. Yeah. It's, uh, falling off of a ledge is a vulnerable position for a squid. And they'll take the lead. Yeah, they do yes. take the lead. So it looks like Al Alfonso is Maybe a very good decision there, but we'll see if they can hold on for another 20 seconds. We do have oh, they've lost two separate uh, things there. See, it does make them lose control of the double special push there. But we'll see if yeah. they can maintain control or if Spray Prey is going to... You can see here the, uh, the value yeah. of the backliner. People jumping in to string oh, instead yeah. of having to swim up. It can yeah, just no, exactly. uh, the the that that little uh, that little extra bit of speed can be all the diff can make all the difference. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we'll see a we have three up bombs coming in to keep control of that. Interesting use of the the stamp Ultra there though. Stamp. That was, like, oh, and we do get a double kill right there. Oof. On the wipeout. Yeah. 
We saw uh, two people uh, just hanging up on there. On the... Up top. Yeah. On, uh... yeah. One of them back it looks to for... um, counting their zone down. It looked for a lo it looked for a long while that uh, team team's brand Bray had uh, oh, well had uh, what if locked out, but it you is lose control though. But it's three to one. So it doesn't yeah. look like you have Booyah Bomb coming yeah. out. Yeah. But they're what gonna get the lead right now. Well, we'll see if they can do anything. But it's not yeah, looking very good. Very quickly, and it doesn't yeah. look like they'll be able to. They get cut. They get jump camped by Glum who trades. But very solid. I will say, well very solid jump camping from Glum and. Just all yes. around this game. We saw at the beginning and the end there once they had control. That is going to be a knockout. That is going to be a 3 1 victory for what if. Looks like they're uh, coming back with a vengeance after losing that first match against Reef Rascals. But a great match overall. Very close games. And there's the room getting closed. I think we're gonna go now to the uh, the commentator's booth. Let's oh, see. Boy. Let's go to the uh, the jam board there, if we can. And we can go mm -hmm. to the results screen. There it is. Plug that in. My smiley face. Um, if we can, yeah, maybe <laughs> the smiley face. And there's also you kind of covered up. There's the corner thing. Um, <laughs> let's put in that. Let's put in those that those wins and losses there in the next slide. If possible. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Here he comes. Yeah, so you can see here we've got the first match up there. Fortunately we got what if putting in their, their first win of the win of the, the tournament. Let me see if I can uh put this in here. It's very exciting. Now this isn't the last match of today. We've got one more for you coming up. If I'm reading yep, here we go. in the schedule, right? Yeah. Yes, we do. In fact, we've got um, and bring it up here. We've got a yeah. uh, default what team going against what if? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come up at the top of the hour. Yeah, we've got a lot, a lot of matches from what if right at the beginning here. Let's see if uh, there's there's at this point sort of a, a setting the bar as it were, um, mm -hmm. as a sort of a test for these other teams coming in. Default team, of course. Uh, MRM, do you have the? Uh, let me the, let me the, let me try and pull up their team the comps. Yeah, they, they was... may they may not have actually. Oh no! Okay, so <laughs> what if is it under it's it's please imagine team name under here. So that's uh, that 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 <laughs> that's not cleared up. Um, default team is uh it's a uh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. <laughs> We'll find them. Well, well it might be the out. same. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's how Dooley's Reef Rascals spray and pray. Yeah, it looks like... Looks like we've got some confusion about exactly what these teams are going to be running, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. Though we've just seen what if. So we do... Oh! Okay, so we have the Magnus Liz. Huh? While we're waiting, I do have a question for you guys. What are you guys thinking about uh, some of the some of the weapon picks? I know we mentioned earlier there's a lot of talk about the uh, the Hydra there and the Bamboozler on Game Three. Um, what are you guys thinking about the sort of theme of, of spray and pray, especially uh, sticking pretty true to those those spray shooters? I I, I honest I I've I've got to say. Uh, I, I, they, they're the, they, they may have, they may, they might not have, uh, they might not have technically won this match, but I think they, they take the moral thing. They take the moral uh -huh. They do, they do. Because, yeah, they, they keep the, keep the, the theming strong. It really isn't that the real victory. <laughs> That's, uh, you have the, to the, commit to a bit. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If you, if you, if you win, but you don't win in style, what's even the point? Yeah. Exactly. Let's see. Okay, we have. Uh, let me. Let, I'm trying to assemble the team comps from various pieces of information <laughs> we have lying around. Right. Give me. A, give me a second. 
staring at the find a team channel, figuring out who isn't accounted for in the multiple team. <laughs> Well, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm looking at people's roles right now, and then trying to back oh, it out from there. Um, it should all have the same color, I assume. Um, no, it, it, apparently no. Oh, no yeah, the colors for team roles are. Uh, yes, <laughs> Why would we do that? It uh, it's probably fine. Yeah, yeah. The only downside to spray and prey sticking so hard to the bit is that as soon as they face a backliner, it becomes very hard to do anything. But they were able to make all the games close, so on another day it could have gone. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Way. No, we saw. I, th I think we saw some very solid plays, especially um, yes. When we, when we got one or two of those players like getting in and flanking a lot, um, looks like potentially some some communication breakdown there. Um, I remember I met, you know mentioning earlier. There's a lot of. Uh, sort of uh, ledge kills and sort of just sort of yes. patrolling the, the zone there by Aviva, for example. Yes, it was very good, w well played there. You can also see it really strongly on Magomart, the ability to get in behind, climb up behind the back lines. The sploosh especially, extremely fast. Yep. Able to really scare the heavy. The Hydra, sorry. <laughs> I love that the 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 mid the like heavy been the heaviest splatling is not called the heavy splatling why would that be called that it's the hydra splatling the heavy splatling is not a heavy weapon yeah no you would think so but no it's it's just think. sort of medium weight i guess it's it's more exciting to say heavy splatling than a uh, medium weight that is true splatling. <laughs> you, you could have, i mean splatling. usually usually the way it works is that you have the uh the splat version of the weapon, and then you have the like heavier one, and then maybe yeah. junior version. Yes. Like you have the or you have the splat, you have the splatter shot, you have the splat pro, and you've got the splat, and you got the splat junior. Uh, it doesn't really work out when, like, what would that even be? Would it just be splat splatling? It doesn't. It's already got splat in it, so you gotta call it something. That is true. <sighs> the splat splatling. Mm. Listen, Blah Blobber came out and it's been a huge hit. So if they came out with the Splatling Splatling, yes. everyone Imagine would go all the wild. Blah Blah Blogs that would. <laughs> Imagine the patch notes. I just, I love, I, man, I, I love that Sheldon has like all of this sort of not even really accurate information. Mm -hmm. And then like the best one, the best Sheldon like weapon review is just has nothing to do with the actual weapon. It's just him making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> It's excellent. So committing to the bit. <laughs> yeah, committing to the bit. Yeah, I mean, default team here is still a complete mystery. I'm, I'm interested because we saw, obviously, the themed setup of, uh, of Spray and Prey meant that we got some pretty sort of, like, pretty obvious uh, style choices in terms of map and... Uh, and game mode especially, I think that the uh, yes. the idea of, you know, it's really sticking to splat zones because that's really where their, uh, their 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 ability to paint really comes in handy. Mm -hmm. But I'm interested to see where we where we go for this next one. Um, you know, see if we, we see something that isn't zones. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fun to see what the random generator come, brings up at the beginning too. If it, yeah, so, it we'll see if RNG also likes the splat zone. It looks like Mino is, is going to be is excited and thinks that we're going to be excited. You can see in the chat there. <laughs> oh boy, hold on. What uh what 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 are your predictions? What are your predictions? Uh, let's see here. I'm expecting uh Mahi Mahi mm -hmm. Tower. Mahi Perfect. Mahi Tower. <laughs> Good prediction. <laughs> Everyone's favorite game ho mode, Mahi Mahi Tower. I man, that I don't want to think about Mahi Mahi Tower. <laughs> uh, Mahi Mahi Tower. I, Mahi Mahi Tower is it is. I think it's actually. I think Mahi Mahi is is for it's it's um, in solo queue when the other team doesn't have a have a charger that can hit shots. It can. It's actually fun because it's like very intense and everybody's like crowded together and you you yeah, you, you the small pop. size can make it. A blast. But the the fact that it's so very small and there's no cover 
the moment that they're in the liner, it's just, it's bad. It's so yeah. bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. I have been pushed off the tower by a piece of the level geometry straight into the water <laughs> before. Oh, no. Um, which I think more map have because I did go, wait, hold on. <laughs> what happened? And it was a really funny moment when I realized what happened. Specifically, I was trying to not move because I was getting shot at. Okay, I, I've I've, uh, I've 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 completed my reconstructive forensic research, and I I, I, I am pleased to announce my findings regarding uh, what we might expect from default team um, coming up. Exciting. We have, uh, in terms of members, we have Centratide. Uh, we, who is who runs um, backline weapons, chargers, um, uh, explo, e-leader, that kind of thing. Um, we have unabated running the ever popular Tetris. Um, Tetris gaming. Shout out to Tetris. Tetris gaming. Tetris gaming. I hope who it's Mommy Tower now, not, like triple. Hmm. Who who I'm not actually I'm I'm not actually sure about what uh, the mag uh, what Magnus will be running because. All they said was shooters plus dabble in rollers. Um, so there's 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 that that can mean a lot of things. It could mean uh, they're a dynamo player. It could mean they're carbon deco. Uh, very different um, very different play styles, uh, e even within just the the roller class. But we'll see. Yes. Um, Never mind the shooters in there. Millions of weapons. Yeah, yeah. And um, Zach runs sploosh and machine apparently from their. Okay. Two very different weapons. Very, uh, absolutely. Yeah, it's good to have that type of variety, though. Having yeah, having agree. range is, is good. Um, it is I, good. I, I will say. <laughs> it is good. I will say that um, maining too many weapons that like maining weapons that don't really have a lot to do with each other in terms of skill set can be kind of weird because yeah. Yes. Well, like you're you're not going to be training up uh, either skill set as well as, as as thoroughly, I, I, I guess, as you would if you mained just one like particular like subclass, like shooter. And another thing that um, this has happened to me considerably. Uh, this has happened to me a lot because I do run uh, dually sculptures and splatter shot fairly often. Is that. Um, I hebe when, after my own heart. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Um, is that you can end up uh, getting confused in your brain because you your your yep. your, your reflexes and your habits are set up to play one particular to play one type of weapon, but when you switch, um, those habits don't work anymore. Like uh, yep. if I'm running, yep. if I'm running junior, then if I run junior and then decide to run uh, squelchers. Then I, I might end. I might end up getting way too close to people and not and uh, and not be able to make make it take advantage of my range, for instance. So. Yes. Yeah, because Depends especially squel squelchers, you really can't rely on the sort of picking potential that you can with a yeah, short range weapon like Tetris yes. or Slayer. The, the kill time is not. It's not. Uh, it's 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 serviceable, but it's not the weapon strong. Side. Attempting to dodge wall while wielding the splatter shot junior. We'll oh go god, it's way. happened to me before. <laughs> it's happened to me it like, is... <laughs> a lot. It's kind of embarrassing. I it's uh, yeah, no, definitely something you see. Also when you switch between uh from the squelchers to a different um uh, uh different uh uh dualies and you were like, wait a minute, I can't move while I'm dodge rolling. Uh oh. Um uh, oh. Yeah, no jumping. I, the the bane of every duelies player uh, is whenever anybody uses Waybreaker. <laughs> um, and I say that because it sort of means that duely squelchers is the bane of duelies. I mean, think about it. it's long. It's you know mid mid rate mid to long range. Uh, has Wavebreaker, like just absolutely awful. Can kite the heck out of you. And jump sometimes. <laughs> Damn. NPC at least five times. Yeah, no, exactly. Is so the what map? Oh, sorry. 
Oh, I was just, uh, you know, I, I have I have a lot of respect for Wave, but maybe that's just because I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, yeah, you were saying about that? Been, I was going to ask what map do you guys hope come up on the random generator? Let's see. Um, let me see. So if the uh, default team seems to be pretty balanced in terms of their capabilities, which, you know, you'd expect default mm -hmm. team. Um, let's see, who else is... Who are they playing against? Uh... What if? What if, that's right. So these are two teams that are, uh, that are uh, going to be fairly balanced, I think. Um, and at least yes. in terms of teams' capabilities. Um, so really, any, any map, <laughs> just, uh, any of the... Like, um, it's, it, it, they, it should be fun to see either, no matter what the map mode is. Unless it's like one of the really bad ones, like friggin' Wahoo World God. Oh, Wahoo. <laughs> Man, uh, no, no, you know what? I, I can, uh, I, 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 I'm not allowed to hate Wahoo World anymore. They fixed it. They add, they added the pole, guys. Yeah, it's they added another ball pole. Better. Next time we're gonna get a ball. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what are you looking at? What are we looking forward to, Fish? If you, if you had to pick a map mode combo. Ooh, I. I think it'd be interesting to see more clam blitz. It's very team yes, oriented. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's fun to see when you're not playing on random queue and desperately trying to figure out what your teammates are doing. <laughs> it was a coordination. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I gotta agree with you there go... on the clam blitz. I, yeah, and when you go I, maybe I love, to Eel Tail love... Alley. Uh huh. The only where um, clam blitz, Eel Tail is the only one where they didn't remove. Um, um, backtracking method <laughs> allowing for more i thought that was a uh, rainmaker where they was it rainmaker they i thought the, it was the, yeah i think it's rainmaker huh. oh, well, well something something you. along those lines it's one of two they're one they're about the same except there's more clams yeah more more there are more clams this is true i i yeah. i I, I don't know. I love Clam Blitz. I want to see more of it. I, I like Splat Zones, too. Don't get me wrong. Zones is nice. I like... But um, Clam Blitz is it's just a good time. Like, it's got a it's got a weird reputation problem just because they don't tutorialize it. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had to have many, many an argument about it, but I'm glad that we all have the correct opinion in this, this commentator's booth. <laughs> <laughs> Clam Blitz is the best. And, and here's here's my thing, right? I think that it helps if you envision it as like basically just turf four, right? Mm -hmm. With like it added complexity, because it's just you want to control the map so that then you can get the clams, mm -hmm. and then it becomes splat zones once you have a clam, because then you're just trying to control the zone around the clams. And obviously, there's other stuff going on because it's its own game mode. But I, I think that a lot of people complicate it like further than it needs to be complicated. It, it, it yeah. would be interesting if um, the story mode included like a clam blitz. Um, yeah, I think that's a big objective. missed opportunity. To be honest, mm -hmm. it'd be neat. It was basically four free stages of one of each type of mode, mm -hmm. and then it serves I, as a tutorial, like uh, you have the Zipcaster tutorial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's there. It's just kind of weird. Like they don't. They they didn't have a like. There there are some there are some specials like where it doesn't really make sense to have a tutorial. Like, mm -hmm. oh man, here's here's the big bubbler tutorial. <laughs> you, you hit you hit the button and it goes out. Yeah, you did it. You um, got it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> but like uh, Zuka for it. It's kind of, it's kind of, uh, it's a, it feels like a missed opportunity to not yes. have a, a place to where, where you can actually practice using Zuka because the arc oh, is yes. hard to learn. Mm -hmm. It is very, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I gotta agree with you there. Now I'm just imagining how a level would even work if you were trying to tutorialize Bubbler. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe you try and teach the jumping, but I'm still not sure how you do that. Wait, actually, now that I think about it, there is one. It's just that you're not using it. It's the one with like those disco guys. Oh, oh my yeah, God, like right. yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's fair. 
I mean, yeah. like, no, yeah, I can, I can see it. I that can counts. see it. Because really, I mean, the important thing about bubbler is, is a, like, it, how do you is that a is that a Sorry. is that a big bubbler uh, is that a big bubbler tutorial or is that a a slam and lid tutorial? <laughs> Why can't it be both? Yeah, I can't it be. The slamming lid. If not one salmonid who saw a big bubbler and went, I've got it. I figured it out, guys. They they can't they can't get it they can't they can't kill us if they can't shoot us. That's uh, that's how it is. It works. It works. I watched one match and and it looked pretty. <laughs> it, it sure did. Uh. No. I, I... Looks like we're gonna be yeah we've got about eight minutes until the next next match. Yeah, I don't know about you guys. I'm getting excited. I'm, I'm, we've got we've got I'm, a, I'm, a team with I'm, each I'm, of them have a backliner. Amazing. I know. <laughs> that hardly happens when playing Splatoon normally. Yeah. I thought you well, had, I will say you have, only backliners. I, I, I will zero say, backliners. You have three. I was gonna say I yes. did have a match where I was going against three backliners on. Um, Spillway, under show spillway, and it was oh dear, absolutely miserable. <laughs> oh no! How do you yeah. do the thing? How do you even get past men? You they, don't. They just, you, you don't. don't. <laughs> um, I mean, once oh, you can't, no. like, we had a couple of pushes we were able to get through that with kill, but like, it's just, it's miserable. The best you can do is just kind of run out of. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had a fun match where I was like, maybe I should try and learn range blaster for tower control. And they were like, I've got your team right here. You, It's you, the range blaster, and then two crack on splat and a vanilla oh, splat God. roller. And I was like, what is the point now? What am I going to do? What's our, our, our in is like a curling bomb. Also, what Carnival, I, I see you and I raise you. Why kill things up close and personal when you could kite and then be like just out of range and then annoy the heck mm -hmm. out of your opponent to death <laughs> just kind of spel squelchers uh squelchers or <laughs> squelchers state squelchers gaming squelchers gaming. gaming not quite as prolific or enjoyable as tetris gaming but i do have a soft spot <laughs> yeah. yeah yes the biggest thing with the backliners is that you are a backliner but you can also be a frontliner if you're not a frontliner, can't be a backliner. They don't have enough I mean, you can kind of do it if you have a if you have a bomb. Like you can kind of, like when I play BD, yeah, you can kind of do it. I spend junior. a lot of my time. I spend yeah, a lot but Junior is a special. Like yeah, it's special. It's special. It is special. I I do appreciate the hubris call, Carnival. That I I will yes. say yes, correct. That's valid, one hundred percent. But it's Splatoon, if not committing to the bit and going for hubris 24-7. Why not just... This is this is why I respect uh, Spray and Prey so much. I think that teams that really to using only one type of weapon are just uh, inherently better than any, <laughs> mm -hmm. any of the um, other teams. I'm Isn't sure that right, I'm, yeah, I'm completely sure unbiased. Guys, yeah, completely unbiased <laughs> opinions from the fellow commentators. Uh-huh. Definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, any any amount of favoritism going on? None, oh. absolutely none. In other news, un completely unrelated, um, the Helm Duelies will play um, on Saturday, the 18th at 14 um, UTC minus five. Um, in a completely wow, unrelated. That's, uh, that's my team. Uh, what a, what, a, what a coincidence! <laughs> what? <laughs> Amazing. If you can guess what their bit is, uh, you win. You win clout. I will say, uh, spoilers: we were, no, no, we no, were, you don't, you don't we were thinking of, of switching up test. a little bit. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> you should be. I mean, the you know the hell duelies. It's in the name. It's in the name. It is in the name. Zero name. fear. Well, okay. Uh, I said it's it's the like no fears meme. The guy with the shirt, but then the one fear mm -hmm. is just wave breakers. It's just wave breakers. Wave breakers. <laughs> I mean, we 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 the hell duelies in uh, the Lunar New Year 
charity stream. We did, I, I believe, yes. they ended up uh, beating out the um, the anti duelies The anti duelies No, <laughs> that's a no, no, no. We didn't. We didn't win. We didn't win out against the anti duel because we. Um, <laughs> was, oh man, good times. Good times. Good times. I believe that if you, if people want more Splatoon content, I believe that's still on the Hades Tigers Twitch channel, or it's on YouTube. I don't know how it far may, that's along. It may have been uh, removed from Twitch just due to uh, um, time, but we'll see. Uh, I go believe they were saved for your, for your though, somewhere. Someone go they, they, or whatever. Stuff. I think they saved them. <laughs> What is it? Our job to do that? Yeah. Get out of here. Look it up yourself. Someone else find it. <laughs> we will be, uh, we, we held duly. We'll be closing out the tournament on Sunday, the 19th of March at uh, 2100 UTC. So, oh, yeah. Tune that'll, in. Be, that'll be our match against What If. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Re the, uh, what If opens the tournament and ends the tournament. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. If you want to watch me play with the Violet Vipers, um, you can find the only time that all of our schedules lined up um, <laughs> Sunday the nineteenth from noon to um, one two to three p.m. You uh, see my five. The literal only time. But uh, what was the what was the why why is your team named? Incidentally. I think oh, Mino yeah. gave us a little um, snake as the default image for our channel. Went, oh, cool uh, snakes! Yeah, no, I mean and that was it. That was the whole the time. Was the yeah, I'm not sure we have a team captain because every time Mino asks, everyone goes, "We we didn't pick one." <laughs> it was um. I, I, it felt, it feels to me a little bit like the Marble, Marble Olympics names. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, exactly, yeah. exactly. Exactly. I, uh, I, I don't, I, uh, by the, I, I uh, go Rangers, by the way. I'm, the, I'm that guy. Oh, I, you're that guy. I, I'm a green, I, I, uh, I'm a fan of the green ducks. I think they're neat. I, to be, to be, to be clear, I didn't. I didn't pick the O Rangers because I, I they they happened to be good. I, I picked the O Rangers before I knew anything about them. So I'm I'm a <laughs> fan. I'm not a bandwagoner. Don't don't yeah. don't don't you at me. You liked them before they were cool. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Well, and in other news, get back to the game though. It looks like we're starting to get people coming in. A little bit of a squid okay. party in the lobby here. We've got Zach at a slight angle. It looks like they're moving around. <laughs> I will say one of my favorite things is if you have like really big weapons like the Hydra, because the holograms mm -hmm. are like square, they just kind of like cut off. It's very funny. You can see that with the the, uh, the E leader there. It's uh, it's very funny it's to watch a tentabrella, a tentabrella, because they just turn into <laughs> a solid square. Hide, hide behind the tentabrella. Yeah. Um, speaking of E leader, it does look like yeah we've got some fun backliners mm -hmm. here. Um, something that I would yeah. love to see. You know how like Exciting. people do those like challenger runs where they try to get into like X rank or whatever, with, like random weapons like the undercover or something. I would yeah, love yeah. to see get into X rank with E leader, but you can only use tap shots. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I just think that Front would be fun. Frontline e-leader, it's time. Yeah, it's e time. Have you it know, too easy. They need to challenge themselves. So, get, the... Step this aside, flash o matic should... This is, I, I, this is uh, why they should I... bring back the burst bomb for e-leader, just so someone yeah. can do that. <laughs> See, so Zach, it looks like is running junior. Um, Center Tide is running e-leader. Uh, let's see, who else is on the team? Uh, I'm excited to see this E leader. I don't know who, who uh, Basher is. MRM has infiltrated the room. They're using uh, they're using Tetras. Ooh, Tetras gaming. Tetra's it is interesting gaming. to see the um, class variety. So far, we've seen no bras, and I don't have any uh, reason to think that we will. 
Oh man, I wish I wish Brellas were good. I wish uh, Brellas were good. Good. They undercover, my beloved. <laughs> please make under like, undercover. Like, please. They... It. It's been a long, long, long. Life it's been a long. <laughs> Brushes my hand they've, against like a black and white. They've suffered uh, so much. Badly. They deserve. They deserve time in the spot. They should over buff it just for like. I mean. To just for like fair, a week. They, there, so was, there, get, was, uh, yeah. there was Kenza. Kenza undercover. Kenza, yes. There was Kenza undercover, which is that was, mediocre. That was good. And, it was usable. I mean, it was, it was, it was usable. okay. <laughs> it was <laughs> You said it was. And not because of the weapon. No, it was, just it was a. Because, oh, what? No. It was a tend to missiles machine. It wasn't, <laughs> actually. It was. What I, was, was, that, uh, I what was it? Was, it was uh, ink armor, I thought. Ink armor, no, that's right. It was, it was it Earth yeah. Torpedo. Yeah. So, like, it was, like, Another literally the best kit. completely broken special. Yeah, the kit that it could have gotten, and even then, it was, like, niche at best. It was only mid. Yeah. I see my nose doing a little bit of, uh, a little bit of showing off with the splatter shot there. Or not splatter shot. Splat uh, Splatter charger. It looks like we've got everyone in. In and here. it's Hagglefish Clam Blitz. There we go. Nice. Okay. You love to see that. Exciting. Just a, a good map. Can't believe good map mode. all of us forgot to say that we wanted to see Hagglefish. Mm -hmm. I actually, that was what I was going to say. And I, I, oh. I slipped and I said, uh, I said uh, that my prediction was actually uh, a Mahi Mahi, but I oh, meant to say uh, Hagglefish, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, excited right, to see like how we're... this first match go. Two bits for the titles of the teams here. Yeah. No, I mean, we've got, yeah, both of the, the sort of meta titles here. The, the default team with the pineapple. I love, the, I love the tags. They're very good. Excellent. Very good. Tags are really good. So good. That's a fun reminder to message the my team and tell us that we need we need tags. Actually, I don't think. Uh, do the Helldoys have tags? Do we actually find um, we'll figure something out. We we uh, uh, listen. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, the captains like, have. I, the captains are ADHD is... enjoyers. It's it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, exciting here to see um, the the stringer, but oh, on one of the teams. Now that one is an all spray weapon, I'm gonna have a time telling which one's which on my phone screen. <laughs> um, but it's exciting. Looks like we early. Goes down with uh, the d default team goes down is two. It's down by two. But what if cannot capitalize? Oh. Sending uh, sending out a uh, sack goes down after putting putting out a wave breaker. Appear to have gotten anybody. Let's see. Team, what if uh, it's been a, it's been pretty it's been the so far it's been pretty much just a fight for mid. See if they, see if they can get a uh, a significant team numbers advantage. Nobody. Oh, looks like you yeah, take carries advantage. down there. Oh, we've got uh, what if which is what if has gone. Uh, what if running double backline, which is interesting, and uh, have been pushed back pretty pretty hard. Uh, Boothler bot. Um, threatening flanking with the uh, tri stringer, which I think uh, I, I love it. I, I'm a big fan. And looks like we do get a break there. Mm -hmm. They uh, the the default team does does manage to get the basket open. Uh, pushed too far. Please. Yeah, they only have pushed to 74. The only couple of extra giving clams them, here. giving what if, pity clams. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they can. Uh, let's see if they can make, take a make use of those. Yeah, I will say I've seen matches where only one score is a game changer, so it, they can hold on here. But it'll be a long three minutes. Mm -hmm. And they're down. Two of them were down there. Team, default team pushed back pretty hard, but what if does not have the to make a power clam? Nah, 
Smasher coming at, pushing in hard with the Petras. Uh, though, though they are now alone. So they are now alone. we get a trade there. Down to uh, Tri Slosher giving default team control over mid once again. Default team does have a power clam. Um, they have, although that appears to be the only, uh, the only thing that they, that appears to be all the clams that they have. So Putting if they want to make best use of a push, they will have, they will want to get some more. Yep. Bon Baron is, Bon Baron yeah. unfortunately is, uh, picked, goes in alone. It seems to me like, uh, yeah, it seems to me like what if is is really not respecting the leader and is get getting punished pretty hard for it. That's one of the things that uh, one of the things is really limited uh, Hydra's viability in the your meta is that it's um, is how long it needs to charge up, uh, and it's uh, is is the combination of how long it needs to charge up and its inferior range to e leader. So uh, yes. if it if it shows its face, it's uh, it's and the e leader sees it. It's uh, that's that's uh, that's it. Yeah, one minute Forcing. left. What if is pushed in pretty deep? Uh, no, uh, but man, yeah, a lot of specials oh, there. Uh, two different wave breakers and the the trice right there. Awesome. Seems like they think they're win. Wind they have 11, wet. they have 14 yeah, clams, although they do not, uh, they cannot, oh, and they lose them all, unfortunate. Oof. Just uh, five more on strings, all who is exposed and goes down. They will you have to, to see that. They will have to act very, down. very quickly to get, to get, uh, to get yes. a power clam Only before the, power clam the time ticks down. They may not have the clams for it. And it does appear like it's going to be going to time here. There we go. There we go. Very well played Very by the default well played team by default team. Yes, exactly. Incredibly defensive game. Um, I think yes. we're, we're used to, especially with Spray and Prey there, um, these very aggressive plays. But now that we have sort of these more defensive compositions, we're seeing a lot of... Uh, Sort of holding a lot back, of a hanging bit. back, and um, yeah. waiting for waiting for a numbers advantage to uh, arise. I will say, um, team uh... yeah, it looks like Fish is going to be back in just a second while we get this. Looks like Manta Maria is our first map. Good map. Good, very good map. Uh, one very of the new map. ones. One new old ones, as it were. And Eeltail Alley. Ooh. Both fairly, um, fairly narrow stages, it has to be said. Although uh, Manta Maria is certainly a little bit, a little bit better in that respect. It's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, Manta, Manta Maria's got a lot of, see. a lot of very fun sort of flying crowds. Um, you don't see a lot of them. Adults. Yes, it'll be very interesting to see what they pick here and what mode they want to play on. Yeah, default team had control the whole time there. Um, I'm excited to see what. Uh, um, what it has up their sleeve to try and break that discipline. Mm -hmm. They do go for Manta Maria Rainmaker. Okay. Okay. I can respect it. I can respect it. Manta Maria is just a solid okay. map. Okay. <laughs> Gotta respect it. Yeah, Manta Maria is one of the new maps, too. Just introduced. Well, it, it was introduced in Splatoon 2. That's true. But it's back in three and better than ever. I, is it? I mean, they got rid of the sponge, 100 so... More ships. There's 100% more ships now in Splatoon this 3. Is, because mm -hmm. they, no, it's they like, it's, it's, a, it's, it's uh, They did, they did. They doubled the number of ships. 
like double the number. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, it's like uh, it's like the baseball wiki in here. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Uh... <laughs> Woof. But I'm tits. Woof. <laughs> All right. Well, we are. Yeah, it looks like we're going to game two now. Let's see if what if can claw back and do a tied game. I think if they really want to stand a chance, they really got to start expecting. Oh, looks like they switched to just a splatter scope instead of the U leader. Which is an interesting yeah. pick. Suppose they don't. Z this want, they don't think the range is as important. Uh huh. Even so, I think that really a lot of this is going to come down to whether or not What If can respect that slider shot. Or not splatter shot. Why do we keep yes. saying slider shot? <laughs> Splat charges. There are no splats. There are no splats. Splat shot. Splat 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 Ooh, and Zach goes to, and uh, Glumbear goes down to the, to the Ziff charger. Two um, down. They're going to pick back. Zach carrying the Rainmaker oh, all the way up quick to the next point. And very quick push. Very quick push. Very fast. Very aggressive. Just um, it in there. Making good use of the uh, taking full advantage of the pick there. Um, we did see something similar yesterday during uh, what if smash against Raf uh, Reef Rascals. Oof. Um, they were on, I think it was Museum uh, Rainmaker, and we saw them just sort of sneak in the Rainmaker into the goal for a knockout. But we'll see if that. So we... Nice. Center yes. the. Uh, uh, what if does have control of the Rainmaker? Shut out of mid. They're trying to walk it over the grate, which is a bold move. They um, but it does. It they get across. Yeah, they but oh, and they get it. docked by the tri strike. Unfortunate. A valiant Very attempt, well though. Looks like they might be able to pick it up again, though. Uh, they got the uh, their their squeezer gets a uh, yeah. three on. Uh, very difficult to to uh, to try and. Fight, out, fight against a number's advantage like that. Yes. They'll rock it back across the grate. Oh, it's stuck on the grate now. Mm. Uh, have, have so it's very oh, mincemeat. Mincemeat metal works vibes. Yes. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the Rainmaker is going in unprotected into a oh, three oh, on one. Oh, oh, unfortunate. Almost yeah, sometimes it. Sometimes it is better to take to uh, oh, abandon two kills Artemis. From the two kills from pop. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Artemis just playing some very solid support there. Getting and may be able to. Nice they they will take back lead. Uh, well, take lead. Well done. And they're still going. Um, I'm very yeah, hard to push up. Like try strikes again. Yeah, good try strikes, but uh, they do manage to get default. He does manage to get down to. Uh, Artemis may uh, is 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 all alone up, up front. And they will get uh, taken out by Reef Slider, which is, I think, uh, a fate worse than death, and at least for me. <laughs> We're sorry, not default team. That was what if that got down to twenty-one. I think. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Zach does, does manage to bring it back across. Yeah. yeah. Strings with the uh, strings popping booyah bomb. Let's see where they decide to put it uh, on top of their on top of the enemy team's uh, tower stack mid something like that. They, they, these places have names. I, I have. It is. I do not know them sadly. I think it's interesting that this is actually the splatter scope. It's not the original splatter shot. Yeah. I ah. that. Yeah. Slightly more range. Yeah. Slightly more range. Also, you can get some fun sort of. Lumberon is all yes. alone at the yeah, front, at the on the front lines, Holding about to down. handle a three-on-one. Doing well though. Oh, it's one. Got it's one. one. Let that pop. Looks like they're backing off though. Artemis Does put gets down taken the out oh, by the God. by the Ziff charger. Uh, they do. Zach does have the Rainmaker, but is does look and like they can. I was wondering about that. It looked like Zach was trying to sneak it by them, but Lump does catch that out. You see the Reef Slider being used to get pop. Um, it, it's a. It is good for that. It's good for that. That's one thing that. Yes. It's one thing that it's good that's at. That's one thing it's good for. <laughs> oh, very clean kill on strings there, but can't quite make it. Uh, Zach work. is coming. Any Zach more? is coming through. Nobody is there to stop him. Let's see whether they can uh, there he take goes. him out before. Oh, and they Does lose lead down. in the last minute lead. of the game. That is rough. That is very unfortunate. 
They may jump very well. Strings, strings jumps it off, but we, but it, but it is, uh, it is going to be, it is they going to be a mystery. Have time. A bit oh. of a mystery whether yes. they'll be able to get pop or uh, stop them here, especially considering that uh, Zach decides to push it in instead of hanging back. Um, an aggressive play. Yeah, what if it really has to make something happen? Baron right is now? deciding yeah. to, uh, oh, but the to play it a little bit him, safer. So he can't go that way. Mm. It's like he's hiding. The squeezer yeah. is. Uh... They're gonna wait for overtime, I think. Let's see. Uh, Zach, Zach goes Great down kill. on their. Zach goes down over here. Um, but Sentry Tide has a clear has a clear okay. sight line. Oh, we jump! Oh, 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 very unfortunate. Special. Jumps right well into placed, the try strikes. Strike. Yeah. From yes. Sentry Tide. Caught him right out. Nothing. Yes. Let's see. If, let's say. Uh, that was and, multiple but, really good try strikes that match. Very very well placed. I run t I run uh, Tentatex Splatter Shot a lot, and um, it. Uh, I, after after having run uh, vanilla for a while, and um, one thing that does get me about it is that it is uh, it's it's a lot less reliable in terms of using tri strike to kill mm -hmm. even after the buff. Mm -hmm. Yes, Just because right, um, undertow. Ooh. Undertow. And what's Undertone our zones blob, blob time. Yeah. <laughs> and Monte Maria again. Again. Okay. Well, we give Rick Darren. Oh Let's man, I wonder which one they will go for. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I well, you know, if? they did just lose the Monte Maria. So they, they did might just lose win. there. That's true. But I, I will say it was very close, and they might decide to try to go there again. Hmm. Yeah. They could and also they decide do, to I wonder what the uh... blobber, blob blobber zones. It might be the pick. Hmm. Fish here, noted, noted user of the noted blob fan. No. <laughs> yeah, blob can be a nightmare on that map. I think it's funny. Um, very good at shutting out space, especially yes. Yes. Uh, in undertow, especially in narrow corridors, which undertow is just is, that, just one of those. All undertow is. One big narrow corridor. Yeah. Blob is also nice. You can catch people up on the ledge not, if you, they're not uh, getting enough attention. That's yeah. the thing. Like, it's not then, just one, it. one narrow. Map. It's not just one narrow hallway because, like, it is theoretically a wide map that you it's, could play. Oh, it's so close. But they refuse to remove the glass wall. It's really sad. <laughs> I, I will be sad the day they finally decide to remove that glass wall and I lose my undertow spillway blob. Um, just stand there. Up 24 7 <laughs> game strat. Mm. But also, it's better for the game. Yeah, we're gonna go into splash. Oh no, we're going. We're going. Yeah. We're going to undertow. Oh boy. This is oh, spectacular. They, they're they must to have. Me talk. They're I was. I was about to say that. I was about to say that. They were. They. They were listening to you. Oh, we'll see who. Uh, we'll see who runs Blob. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll see whether they run Blob, and if so, who? Um. What, the influence of the comp. Blob Blob uh, comp. Yeah, listen, they don't have to listen to us. I never said my ideas were good. I just said they were funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, you know, you need to do some stuff for content, right? You gotta do some stuff for content. I meant to the bit. All right, those bed. look like it's wide zones. Yeah. And let's see if we have any ball Yeah, so default team wins this. We oh, oh we my gosh. Ball. That's a that completely is a, different. That is, yeah. Wow, looks like they've got two spray shooters. We got the Tetras there and the Explosher. Sure. Very interesting. They, uh, Tide does it, it, it they are known for running uh Explo. At least yeah. at least um well, I mean true. as far as I, I say this. Oh, no, you say that right as yeah, there. very, very quick kill there. Um Yeah, I mean not a not, not a blob lover, but isolated it's on on uh, default team side, they are going to get a triple kill. Well done. Paint out oh, the zone. Well there, uh, Zach is all like alone. The Let's see kill. whether they can. Oh, and they go down to Zach, and, and it looks Ooh. like uh, default team will take it back. 
very well fresh. done. It's a, it's, well I, it, it, Tri Slosher is very hard to fight as Junior it because is. they just have some, such a, such a fast kill time. Um, oh, what if gets control there? Adds a counter. They do, they do get, uh, they do force them to work through that penalty. It's not a huge penalty, but it is, it is there. It's something to consider. It's, it's a little. All right, looks like they're trying to claw back control, but it's going to be enough. Nice. And you have kill. a, you have a person leave yeah. here. Oh, the rain. Oh, the Briar bomb, it goes on top of glass. It does. Unfortunate. <laughs> Got control though. They're mistake, they are mistaken control, down. Yeah. They will they will they will uh, oh, try to take control. back that side. They're left. Very good luck here, but default does grab control again. For just a second. Just a second. That's uh, that's the in. nature of that's the Wait, nature of yeah. undertow zones. It's very uh, you don't you don't often see that much you don't often see people locking each other out. Yes. I was gonna say very commanding use of the explosher there. Yes, this is great explosher gameplay. Oh another taking yep, out another great quote. Taking out Hydra. That was, that was it. Undertow, a good map for, for Explosher, it has to be said, because of the ridge yes. that they can fire up and over. Mm -hmm. It looks like they got this command pretty well, and they're counting back down now that they're through their penalty time. Yes. Uh, Artemis, the not, not, uh, not quite close enough to take out the Explosher. Goes down. Wave Breaker? Wave Breaker goes out. Quite strong on this map, I will say. Yeah, covers all of it. Goes through the wall in the middle too, so you can't see yep. it if you're on the other side. Animus once again going very aggressive. Alone takes out the Explosher. Looks like Zach is trying to now sneak behind in. Magnus gets... and and uh, Basher. It does get a pick. Trades. Yes. Yeah. What if there was able to take control at the penalty to the default team's counter? Yeah, put this. But we'll hold it for right the time. Yeah. Man, must, this was a very good, I will say, I was skeptical, but this is a very mm -hmm. good pick by, by Luke. I'll kill there. Careful about the torpedo. Artemis they're in trading control, for Explosher. Uh, Basher, tra get Basher caps zone. Yes. Zack alone gets taken out. Oh, but the... Pum goes down on zone, painting the zone blood. It is unfortunate. A minute left here. A minute left. Looks like we got we've got a ink storm there, and they might have time for just one more push. Oh, that's not going to be good for them. And, uh, two down, two down essentially. Um, Pum is still paint, still uh, coming up. They're, they are, uh... Oh, may just about, just about be gone, but anything can happen oh. in Splatoon. Anything can happen. Asher, reef slide again. Now, uh, it gets, uh, gets taken down. down. It's, uh, kind speed. of the way, kind of the way of Tetris. Oh, a nice pick there. The Tri-Zuka uh, kill. You get control for it's some time. Though. Tetris Gaming. Tetris Gaming, yeah, and that does look like, oh, maybe this one final push, but does look like this is going to be hurt. And that Tetris Gaming again. Yes. And there it is. A very clean very, sweep, I must say. Very clean. Very clean indeed from default it's very team. Very clean. Yes. Um, this, all the all the parts working together. Center tied with the backline, so with the backline pressure. Um, Zach and, uh, mm -hmm. Zach and, Zach Magnus and Unabated. Just absolutely, uh, Zach Magnus and Basher just absolutely keeping things locked down on the front line. Yes. Very well played. Yeah, very well played I, I, to I love, all of the teams today. And I love mm -hmm. that that switch on the weapons during that last match. Yes. Yeah, I think threw them off guard. Yeah, because we were talk talking beforehand, variety. 
And while the downsides are you get confused switching between the weapons, if you're able to do it, you can do something like that and take a team entirely off guard with a completely different comp. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, and as we go back to the, the scoreboard here, we'll see uh, Spring Prey with one loss, no wins. Uh, what If takes their second loss with one win. Default team is 1-0 and right now. We have Reef, Reef Rascals alliteration uh, with one win and zero losses as well. All right, I believe... Day. Yeah, very exciting day. And we've got a bit of a break for the rest of the week, but mm -hmm. on Saturday we'll be back with four? Yes, four games. Um, in All a in a row. Who are, uh, who are you? Well, well, listen, two of us are, are have a vested interest in, in these in these, uh, in these games coming up on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, but as we'll far see. as... What could it I be? Might pop, I might, might pop in and out of the, uh, the commentary a little bit. But. Yeah, I may be able to commentate the second half. It depends on my work schedule, which I don't know yet. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. Just to uh, just for just for people who don't have the schedule pulled up mm -hmm. at home. Saturday, uh, beginning at seventeen hundred UTC, will be Spran start. We'll start out with Spran Prey versus the Reef Rask uh, default team versus Spran Prey. That's a bet. The double header for them. Mm -hmm. uh, Rascals playing the Hell Duelies, and the Hell Duelies playing Team Spray and Prey. A very, a very busy day for Team Spray and Prey. Yes. Um, yeah, very much so. Which, uh, which, which matches are you most excited to see? Well, I mean, other than the uh, the the obvious Hell Duelies, I mean, come on, nearby <laughs> <Yeah>. is <laughs> there. Um, no, I'm I'm interested to see. Uh, I think Spray and Prey versus Reef Rascal is going to be an interesting one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we saw we saw some dynamic personalities, I think, on both sides during the game yesterday. Reef Rascals and then today on Spray and Prey. I'm interested to see how that plays out. Yeah, I personally was not able to watch yesterday due to being busy. So I'm excited to see Reef Rascals play for the first time. Um, and similarly with Hell Duelies. Um, but all the matches are going to be very exciting. But yeah, I, uh, metal. Yeah, you want to you want to go ahead? <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, I, 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 it's it's kind of it's kind of awkward because there are only like, you know, th th four matches and there are three of them. Um, I, I'll have I, yeah. I, I uh, it'll be. Um, I'm 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 excited for our match versus uh, the Reef Rascals. Um, just mm -hmm. because they have uh, they've they've been such a strong team before. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, be um it'll be interesting to, to it'll be fun to play against them it'll be fun to uh to yeah. see to uh to have that go down so yeah thank you everyone for turning out today um i've been mrm yes and i'm fish yeah. i'm pep boy we've been we've been casting <laughs> and stuff, so then, whatever.